In this video, we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing as the previous video, except we're going to be installing our client machine, which is going to be Windows 8 pre-release preview or something. So remember, the purpose of this video series is to help others set up their virtual environment, their virtual lab, in order to test the products, uh, learn about Windows servers and domains, etc. So this video, we're going to go ahead and get started. We already have, as you can see, we already have Windows Server 2012 installed and running. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that for now. Um, for this one, we're going to go ahead and click New because we want to install a new virtual machine. So we're going to hit Next. Let's name this one. The last one I just named Windows 2012 Server. I'm just going to name it what it what it basically is. So this is going to be a Windows 8. I'll just put Windows 8. And it already selected it by default, but I want to select 64-bit because I am going to be installing the 64-bit version. So next, um, it recommends one and a half gigs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just give it, let's go ahead and just give it two gigs for now. Since, since I have the memory here, you might be better off with just that, depending on how much RAM your host machine has. So we're going to go ahead and click next. We're going to leave the default hard disk information, the VDI type and then uh, we definitely want it dynamically allocated it's recommending at least 25 gigs remember it's er it's better to err on the side of um, having too much hard drive space than not having enough because uh, once you run out it's very tough to um, increase that so okay we're just gonna go ahead and hit next on the 25 gigs we're gonna go ahead and just create and create so now that is created we want to do the same thing with the networking settings as we did with the 2012 server. So go ahead and just make sure that's highlighted, your Windows 8, 8 machine, or whichever Windows 7 or whatever you're installing. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and click on settings. And right away, we wanna go to network and make sure adapter one is enabled, but we wanna switch the type from NAT to internal. That way it's separate from our home network here or your production environment depending on if you're installing this at a, in a work environment or whatnot but it's only going to have access not even to the internet yet but uh, again we'll fix that when we install pfSense we will do some custom configuration there and uh, kind of emulate an entire uh, real life environment so we'll go ahead and go internal and then also like in the previous video I showed I always like to go to the display tab go into video and max this bad boy out because I'm not going to be RDPing into it, I'm actually going to be viewing it from the console just like we are with this one. It just helps with the overall performance. Okay, and that's pretty much all I want to do here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It's powered off. We're going to go ahead and start it. It's going to recognize that it's the first time we're running this and it wants us to uh, point to an ISO or a disk or you know some sort of a disk image. So we're going to browse. We're, we're already in that ISO folder that's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Windows 8 that I had downloaded. Remember, the links are down below for these three ISOs. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it. Hit Next and Start. So it's going to go ahead and start up this virtual machine. Bring this up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run, pause it, and I will be back. Actually, that only took about two seconds. So right here, right away, we're going to hit Next. I'm just going to go ahead and install now. Okay, and now it wants us to add the product key. Now, when you go to the download page that's in the link below, you're going to see that you're going to either download your 64-bit or your 32-bit. The key is provided below for us to use as the trial basis. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. I don't know if it's going to paste. Nope. So I'm going to go ahead and just type it in there for the moment. Hit next. Go ahead and minimize that out of here. Accept. And basically, you're just going to kind of run through the installer like, like you did with the server. I always like to just make sure I come over here and have that disk selected just in case there's partitions or something. And usually in your virtual environment, you're not going to have that, but um, it's just kind of a habit of mine. So, all right, I'm going to let this go through and install. Pause it for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And it's asking for us to name this computer. Let's just name it Client PC. How about that? All right. So 
we're gonna go ahead and hit next and we didn't name the server yet either but that's coming up in a the next video series that we're gonna be doing customize I'm just gonna use Express I don't even care I don't want to sign in without using Microsoft okay there are two options I don't care we're gonna do local account this is gonna be a this is gonna end up being our local machines uh, username and password so let's just go ahead and name this local user for fun and just a password hint that tells me something about my password let's go ahead and finish it it's gonna finish and then we will be up and running with this again we're not gonna have internet access and uh, but we were gonna fix we're gonna fix that in the next video and we are up and running so as you can see here we have so far we have two machines in our virtual box virtual environment they um, both cannot access the internet yet but uh, again we're getting to that and uh, they're configured uh, as far as within the networking settings and everything they're configured how I want them configured next video we're going to be installing PFSense to act as our firewall slash router um, such as you would if you were in a physical environment somewhere setting up maybe someone's home network and server or small business server with uh, a router or firewall so stay tuned